place now or to get a parking place. Here in South Jacksonville. I'm not going to go to that TA because I went there a few weeks ago and it's all torn apart in there. There's no place to eat. And Let's try the pilot here first. still all torn apart over there, so truck entrance only. Wow, I haven't been to this pilot in years. because I remember now there's only like two dozen trucks can park here. Uh, why is it they let people park their personal cars here? Well, I ended up coming over here to the TA after all and just get one of their sandwiches for dinner. I guess they have to do the remodeling and so we just have to accept that. So we're here in South Jacksonville at the TA for the night and we'll continue our trip on into South Carolina in the morning. Hey everyone, this is The Little Dog, and you're watching Adventures in Trucking with my friend, Indiana Jack. Now after you watch this video, jump on over to my channel right here on YouTube, Ask a Trucker, for more information on what it's like to be a professional driver, and more information on the trucking industry. Well, our travels have brought us to a little town called St. George, South Carolina. They've built a uh, Flying J here. That's a dumbass long truck driver, is it? That certainly is. I have no idea what he was talking about. But I don't remember this Flying well, J. You, know, you don't suggest it over here. You're going too right, ain't you? I don't remember this being here, but it looks like a pilot to me. And it's newer, so I'm, I'm going to assume it's newer. I guess that car doesn't need his rims. And then take the entrance to the right at 250 feet. Well, here's the deal. We're in Pageland, South Carolina. Getting ready to head out to another location here in South Carolina. Forgive me, I'm getting all my paperwork ready. Because today is a Friday. 
so I scan it all in today and get a settlement then on Tuesday. But now we're heading out to uh, Page Land, no, to Bennettsville, South Carolina, picking up some kind of wood product out there. This has been a really smooth trip, even though it's been back roads the last quarter, and then now this is all back roads. And you can follow along on the map. I appreciate you guys who uh, email me and tell me you follow along on your uh, your maps. Turn right on US 601. To be honest, if I were disabled or had to be home for some reason, couldn't drive anymore, one of my favorite hobbies is maps. I know that doesn't sound like a hobby, but I like maps. Let's see what US Express is doing here. He's gonna go. I'll go if he goes. Crash. looks kind of threatening. The skies are dark gray. In two and a half miles, turn left on East McGregor Street, SC9. So we're going to be taking nine. All right, well, we're finally getting loaded out here in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina. We're at a plywood factory, and this is primarily a flatbed uh, place but they do load vans uh, occasionally like me I get stuck out in the middle of nowhere out here and there's no loads so we take these even though they're so heavy it's not my favorite thing uh, but I'd rather do this than uh, deadhead a long way with with no freight at all so uh, you can see behind me um, the flatbeds getting loaded. They have an area there where they load the flatbeds and then where they tarp them also because all the wood has to be covered up and protected so they put tarps on them. And then of course we don't have to do that with a dry van. So we'll be loaded shortly and rolling to Louisville, Kentucky. Thanks for riding along with me. I'm Indiana Jack. Remember to visit our friend over at Ask a Trucker, Little Dog over there. He'll help you out with all of your questions about getting into trucking and the things that truckers do. And if you're new to trucking, if you want to get into trucking and you have a question, just send it to him and he'll actually answer it right on his channel. I'll put that right, in my, uh, right on my page so you can find it. If you want to go there, you can find Ask a Trucker there. I'm Indiana Jack. We'll see you next time.